I am Teacher Man. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we're going to add similar and dissimilar fractions. Okay, try to look on this example. What happens when you add fractions with the same denominators? Okay, very good. So we have three steps. Add or subtract the numerators, copy the common denominator, and simplify if needed. Let's have the first example, 8 over 15 plus 2 over 15. Since they have the same denominators, all you have to do is to add the numerator. So, 8 plus 2 is 10. And then, copy the common denominator. So, what is our common denominator? Very good. That would be 15. Okay, we have step 3. Simplify if needed. Since 10 over 15 is not yet simplified, we are going to simplify it by finding its greatest common factor. So, what is the greatest common factor of 10 and 15? Very good. So, the greatest common factor is 5. So, we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 5 to get the lowest term of 10 over 15. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and then 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the answer will be 2 thirds. For example, we have 5 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 1 fifth. First thing to do is to add the whole numbers. Okay, so 5 plus 2, we have 7. And then since they have the same denominator, we are going to add the numerator. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then, copy the common denominator. So, we have 5. And then, simplify if needed. 3 over 5 is in the simplest form. Why? Because 3 and 5 are relatively prime. So, therefore, the answer is 7 and 3 fifths. Another example is 7 and 5 ninths plus 6 ninths. Okay, so first is to regroup the fractions from the whole number. So let us separate the fractions, the simple fractions, from whole number. So we have 7 plus the quantity of 5 over 9 plus 6 over 9. Since 5 ninths and 6 ninths are similar fractions, all you have to do is to add the numerator, then copy the common denominator. So we have 5 plus 6 is 11. And then, copy the common denominator, which is 9. Since 11 over 9 is an improper fraction, so all you have to do is to change it into mixed number. So, we're going to divide 11 by 9. How many 9s are there in 11? We have 1. So, 1 times 9 is 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. So, 1 here, here will serve as our whole number. And then, the remainder 2 will serve as our numerator. So, we have now 1 and 2 over 9. So, let's add 7 plus 1 and 2 over 9. So, 7 plus 1 is 8. And then, we have 2 over 9. So, 8 and 2 over 9 is simplified. So, therefore, the answer or the sum is 8 and 2 ninths. So, remember that in adding similar fractions, all you have to do is add the numerators. Next is to write the sum over the common denominator and then simplify your answer in lowest term if needed. Let us now add simple fractions having different denominators. For example, we have one half plus two fifths. All you have to do first is to find the LCD of 2 and 5. So we have three ways on how to find the LCD. First is the listing method. The second one is the prime factorization. And the last one is very good, the continuous division. So in this method, we are going to use the listing method. So let us write down some multiples of 2 and 5. 
So, first thing to do is, first is we have 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. How about 5? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. What is the smallest common multiple of 2 and 5? Very good. We have 10. Okay? Next step is get the equivalent fractions of 1 half and 2 fifths. So, 10 here will serve as our denominator. So, we have 10 divided by 2 times 1 is 5. Okay? Next. 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Next is to add the numerator. Okay? So, 5 plus 4 now is equal to 9. And then, step 4, copy the common denominator. What is our common denominator? Very good. That would be 10. So, the answer is 9 over 10. Since 9 over 10 is in simplest form, no need to simplify. Another way to solve the expression 1 half plus 2 fifths is the butterfly method. So, 1 half plus 2 fifths. First thing to do is to multiply 2 and 5. So, that would give us, very good, we have 10. Next is multiply 1 and 5. So, 1 times 5 will give us 5. And then, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. Next step is to add 5 and 4. So, 5 plus 4, we have 9. And then, our denominator will be over 10. So, the answer is 9 over 10. Let us try another example. 3 fourths plus 1 sixth. Okay. 4 and 6 are different. So, therefore, we are going to find first the LCD of 4 and 6. Okay, list down some multiples of 4. So, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. How about 6? 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. What is the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6? Very good. We have 12. Next step will be get the equivalent fractions of 3 fourths and 1 6. So, how are you going to get the equivalent fractions? Okay. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so we have 9 over 12. The equivalent fraction of 3 fourths is 9 over 12. Next, how about the equivalent fraction of 1 6? So 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, 1 6. The equivalent fraction of 1 6 is 2 over 12. And then... They have now the same denominators. Add first the numerator. 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. And then copy the common denominator, which is 12. So, next is to simplify. 11 over 12. Is it in simplest form? Very good. 11 over 12 is in the simplest form. Why? Because they are both relatively Prime. Okay, so the sum of 3 fourths and 1 sixth now is 11 over 12. Let us use now the butterfly method. 3 fourths plus 1 6. First thing to do is to multiply 4 and 6. That will be 24. And then multiply 3 and 6. 3 times 6. We have 18. Next, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. And then add 18 and 4. So, 18 plus 
4, that is 22 over 24. Okay, so 22 over 24 is not yet simplified. So, what are you going to do? Find first the greatest common factor of 22 and 24. What is the greatest common factor of 22 and 24? Okay, very good. That would be 2. So, after finding the greatest common factor, let us divide 2 by both numerator and denominator. 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. So, the sum now is 11 over 12. Let us now add mixed number by another mixed number with different denominators. Okay, so we have 4 and 2 fifths plus 3 and 1 third. Okay, so first step will be group the fractions from whole numbers. So we, we are going to separate 4 and 3 and 2 fifths and 1 third. So 4 plus 3 plus the quantity of 2 fifths plus 1 third. And then add first the whole numbers. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Plus, find the LCD of 5 and 3. So, what is the LCD of 5 and 3? Using the listing method, we have this down some multiples of 5 and at the same time the multiples of 3. So, 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. 3 is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Now, what is the smallest multiple of 5 and 3? Very good. That would be 15. So, after that, get the equivalent fractions of 2 fifths and 1 third. So, we have 15. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, next, how about one third? What is the equivalent fraction of one third having 15 as the denominator? 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Okay, so we have now 7 plus 6 over 15 plus 5 over 15. So the next step is add the numerator, then copy the denominator. So, add first the 6 and 5. So, let's have 7 first. And then, 6 plus 5 is 11. Copy the common denominator, which is 15. Okay? So, the answer should be 7 and 11 over 15. Is 7 and 11 over 15 is in simplest form. Very good. That is in simplest form. So, Therefore, the sum of 4 and 2 fifths and 3 and 1 third is 7 and 11 over 15. Another way to solve the given expression is by changing the whole number into improper fraction. So we have 4 and 2 fifths plus 3 and 1 third. So first thing to do is to change 4 and 2 fifths into improper fractions. So we have 4 times 5 or 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 we have 22 and then copy the denominator which is 5. Next, 3 and 1 third. So we have 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and the 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay? So, 10 over 3. Okay? Next, let us use the butterfly method. So, 22 times 3, that will be 66. And then 5 times 10 is 50. And then we are going to multiply also the denominators. So 5 times 3 is 15. So after that, let us now add the product 66 and 50. So 66 plus 50, we have 116 over 15. 
since 116 over 15 is an improper fraction, although it is simplified, we can also write this into mix, or we can also change it into mixed number. So all you have to do is to divide 116 by 15. So the answer is 7 remainder, 11. So 7 will serve as our whole number. And then 11, our remainder 11, will serve as our numerator and then copy the common denominator, which is 15. We have now 7 and 11 over 15. In adding the similar fractions, all you have to do is to determine first the LCD. Next is to get the equivalent fractions using the denominator. The next step is add the numerators. Then, next is to write the sum over the common denominator. And then, the last step is simplify or write your answer in lowest terms if needed.